Okay guys, so finally, after two months, I decided that I'd watch Cats the movie. I actually found out about the movie right after they dropped the trailer because for some reason, YouTube kept throwing it into my recommendation feed. I don't know, maybe it's because I tend to watch a lot of cat videos, I guess? But anyway, I didn't pay much attention. Every time I'd see it sitting there on my homepage, I'd just scroll right past it. I mean, for one, the thumbnail itself was very cringy. But anyway, one day, I finally decided to click and watch the trailer. Maybe YouTube would finally leave me alone. Turns out the trailer itself was even cringier than the thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, so fast forward to December 18, 2019, the movie hit theaters around the same exact time that Star Wars was released. Suicide! And oh my god, <laughs> the internet was in heat. Like an unspayed female cat in June, everybody was upset at this movie. The internet was flooded with negative reviews. Okay, so I for one, I do not like negativity, so I decided that I'd watch the movie for myself and see if I could find, you know, a soft spot in my heart. You know, since the movie is about cats and I like cats so much, I don't know. But I promise you, this is gonna be an unbiased review. I'm just gonna try and find both the good and the bad and I promise you I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything, okay? So, here's an unbiased review. Okay guys, so it is 5.13 a.m. and I finally, after three days, I finished watching the movie and it, it was something, it was something. Um, the reason why it actually took me three days to watch the movie was because, I don't know, it wasn't... It wasn't enough to like keep my attention. It wasn't enough to keep me locked to the screen. So whenever I paused the movie to do something, I just never return until like the next day. But usually when I'm watching a boring movie and I pause it, I don't I don't like ever return. But I remember that I had this video to do for you guys so that that was the only reason why I kept going back to the movie the day after but now I finally reached the end and I do have some opinions on this movie so um, let's go okay so I ended up watching both the original musical and the 2019 remake of it and i have to say that um i know i like the musical better so basically the movie is about a cult of cats all competing to become the chosen one i mean the jellical choice and to win a new chance at life and to ascend to the heavy side layer that's cat heaven So the movie starts off with this cat Victoria who's thrown out onto the streets by her owners. I don't know why her owner threw her out. Maybe it's because she's always aroused, concupiscent. And they probably didn't have enough money to spay her. I'm kidding. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the actual reason, but I'm just assuming here. So she gets... So she gets thrown out and all of a sudden a bunch of cats surround her, the jellical cats, and they start singing to her about themselves one by one, non-stop. And this went on for the entire first hour and a half of the movie. And I think that's, that's really where the movie went sour for most people, including myself. And it was actually like that in the original musical, but more tolerable, I guess. You know, I think what Tom Hooper and his team failed to realize is that 
some things just will only look good on Broadway and should stay on Broadway. You see, a lot of moviegoers are not necessarily theater or Broadway fans, but I ask people, you know, why don't you like the theater? Wouldn't you rather go and watch a play than buy a ticket to go see a movie? The answer usually is, nah, I don't like theater. It's for nerds. It's boring. It's very cringy. It's very corny. You see, Broadway is structured a little... It's structured differently from the movies that we go and see in the cinema. So I think if you're gonna take something off Broadway, no matter how successful it was, if you're gonna make that transition from the theater to the big screen, then I think you're gonna have to tweak it a little bit, you know, to, you know, since you're gonna be appealing to a different type of audience, if you get what I'm saying. And you can see that this lack of consideration was clearly one of the reasons why the movie wasn't as successful as the original Broadway musical. Now if you look at the reviews or watch all these YouTubers who are bashing the movie, it is so obvious that either they have never seen a musical and or they are not Broadway fans because other than the terrible CGI, they are bashing Tom Hooper for things that were already in the original successful musical like the way too many song introductions in the beginning of the film or how suggestive Rum Tom Tucker and the other cats were. All of this was already written in the original musical. As a matter of fact, Jason Duro, Duro, Duro what the hell, Duro? Jason, ah, he actually toned it down a bit for y'all, cause the original Rum Tum Tugger was way more suggestive, and I mean, way more suggestive. You see what I'm talking about? This is what happens when you bring Broadway to the big screen and not tweak it to make it more appealing to cinema fans. And another thing, I personally didn't like the fact that after most of these characters sang a song about themselves, they just either vanish for the rest of the movie or just don't contribute much. Other folks also hated this and I think this could have been avoided if they didn't cast so many celebrities who probably had very busy schedules which was why they couldn't fully commit or contribute more to the story but if this wasn't the case then i feel like they could have come up with some more creative ideas for them to do in the movie and we'd probably get to see you know a little more character development but no they just thought that if they put a bunch of celebrities to star in the film people would come running with their money to come and watch the movie but that that actually backfired didn't it anyway on to the cgi and everything else okay so i'm not gonna lie the, the first time i saw um this <laughs> it, 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 it was it was kind of at first i'm not gonna lie all of this was kind of scary to me in the beginning but i i don't know it kind of grew on me later but trust me when i first saw this Get it together get it together <clears throat> yes yes where was i mm -hmm. but when, when i when i first saw this i was i was traumatized if i were a real life cat looking at this I'd, I'd be highly offended just as offended as black folks were when jim crow first came out in blackface in the 1830s this cgi is absolutely insulting it's not cute for, for the most part folks it looked very creepy and demonic on a whole this isn't something i'd like to see when i fall asleep taylor swift by no means wasn't joking when she sung i'd be the actress starring in your bad dreams she was really trying to warn us people and then the, the scaling was so off there wasn't any consistency like you didn't know like the true size of the cats you know in contrast to you know the settings but you know i'm not gonna say any, any more on that but yeah guys that's the end of my thoughts of this movie i don't i don't think it was that 
bad they tried to stay true to the original musical even though that kind of backfired but the actors and the singers on a whole they really put out the best they could so i'll give cats a c plus uh yeah i i, I don't know it wasn't that bad well, i don't know what, what do you guys think <laughs>